Hi, I'm Kurt Smith, and welcome to App Talks, a series of conversations with Salesforce customers on how using business apps from the App Exchange can help you manage all aspects of your business. I'm here today with Craig Eider from Thomson Reuters to talk about how Thomson Reuters is using Salesforce and app to cpq to transform their sales process. Welcome to App Talks, Craig. Yeah, thank you, Kurt. Craig, one of the things we like to do on App Talks is always end with some peer-to-peer -peer advice. So if I was in charge of sales enablement at a company and I was looking for a CPQ solution, what advice would you give me? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you three uh, points that I think are relevant. The first one is have your strategy sound, right? And our strategy was very clear and we talk about it regularly even today. The first thing is the customer experience has to be improved. We have to be easier to do business with and reducing this billing friction would be a great win for us. And so we had that in, 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 the, in the lens from day one. The second part of our strategy was sales professional experience. The UX has to be simple. The process to go from lead to order and contract has to be simple. That was in our lens from day one. And then the third thing is we knew we had to simplify our business because there's too many rules, too many products, too many permutations. Sales professionals and customers just couldn't understand how to do business together. So strategically, that's what I would say would be the first thing. Have your strategy sound and stay, stay, stay true to it. The second thing is, I think it was really critical to have sales reps involved from day one. And the reason is, is very obvious, but I'll say it anyway. It's that having the people that have to use the tool participate and speak into the workflows and the ultimate end product did a couple of things that were really important. Number one, it made sure that what we rolled out worked. Yeah. And number two, we had instant credibility when we were training to the tool because they knew the sales reps that were in the early adopter program were part of the design and development process since day one. So those two things were really, really important. And then the third thing I would say is the evaluation criteria, the scorecards. And they, they, they were really representations of our strategy, but having a business scorecard, a technical scorecard, and a finance scorecard, and rolling those out through this really short window of demonstrating basic workflows was really important. So I would say stay true to your strategy, have sales reps involved from day one, and then have a, have a crisp evaluation process. Thanks very much for being here, Craig. I really enjoyed speaking with you. That was great advice. And thank you for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you on the next App Talks.